A monstrous snake, nearly the size of a football field, is captured on film as it rears back to attack a helicopter flying by. But could anything that big really exist? Follow my in-depth analysis, and by the end of this video, try asking yourself that question again. Humanity is familiar with some pretty big snakes, both in person and in fossil records, and sometimes through photographic evidence by reliable witnesses. During World War II, Belgium fighter ace and squadron leader Remy van Leerd rose to the rank of colonel in the British Royal Air Force and received the Distinguished Flying Cross Medal of Valor after shooting down six enemy aircraft and 44 V-1 flying bombers. After the war, he was put in command of the Kamina Air Base in the Katanga region of what was then the Belgian Congo. His reputation and spatial recognition abilities are impeccable, which means we must give careful consideration to this incredible report. One day in Africa in 1959, on the way back to the air base from a helicopter mission, Colonel Leard was astounded to see a massive snake winding its way along the terrain below. He circled around for a better look and had one of his flight crew take a series of photographs. As he descended to about 500 feet in altitude, the gigantic snake took notice and reared back as though ready to strike at the helicopter if it dared to come within range. By his own estimate, Colonel Leard guesses that the snake must have been a minimum of 50 feet in length with a triangular shaped jaw about two to three feet wide. In his own words, quote, it could have easily eaten up a man, unquote. Keep in mind that a reticulated python is the longest snake ever measured alive at 33 feet or 10 meters in length. The longest measured known extinct snake is the titanoboa, which was 42 feet or about 13 meters in length. After, quote, countless reports from the Kamina area of giant snakes, unquote, the original photos were sent to CIA Captain Lorenzo W. Burroughs, director of the National Photographic Interpretation Center, for some further analysis of the photo. Let's look at that. Here is the full photo in its entirety. As you can see at the bottom, the type of camera the photo was taken with was recorded, which adds some authenticity to this photo. Probably the most important thing about this photo though, as highlighted by the letter, are the termite nests, which is a little confusing at first unless you know what an African termite nest looks like. African termite nests look like this. They're absolutely huge, and they take on recognizable shapes. The letter reads, quote, further, the two black spots in the upper left-hand quadrant are quite plainly termite nests, or rather, their shadows. Under high power, you can very easily see this, and at the top one is a column, circular in the horizontal section, while the bottom one is typical of the flange types that always point north to south." Unquote. See the termite nests? Now remember how big they are? Let's use them as is done in the letter, to approximate a scale of reference. These termite mounds can easily be two and a half times the size of a human. So we'll say the top termite nest is 15 feet or about 4.5 meters tall. Now this is a bit of a guess, but if the snake was fully stretched out, I'd say it'd be around this long. So if we just stack our 15 foot or 4.5 meter termite nests next to this line, we'd get about 13 of them. This yields a rough approximate total length of about 195 feet or about 60 meters and closely matches what the letter says of about 200 feet. That's up to five times larger than even the Titanoboa, 
allegedly the biggest snake ever, and that was thought to have gone extinct shortly after the dinosaurs. What sort of monster did Colonel Remy Van Leard encounter and photograph here? And why are there so many other alleged reports of massive snakes by others in the same area? The Congo seems like a very, very scary place. Crave more mysteries? Watch our top 5 biggest animal mysteries ever video, if you haven't already. Or jump on our mystery playlist and discover how aliens may have saved Earth from a nuclear catastrophe. Twice.